Last updated 11:24 the 31st of May 2018 Duke Balin Sullivan scores 75 meter try from restart. Duke Getty Images New Zealand left wing Leicester, Fying Anuka leaves Japanese defenders in his wake in the opening match of the World Rugby U20 Championship in France. The Images New Zealand halfback Xavier Rowe busts the Japanese defence. David Rogers, Getty Images New Zealand wing Leicester, Fying Anuka dots down in the corner under pressure from Japan. Rowie the Baby Blacks have humiliated Japan with a 67-0 win, making a strong start to their title defense at the World Rugby U20 Championship in France. New Zealand scored 11 tries in Narbonne on Thursday, and ZT, as their power and pace proved too much for a Japanese team who were returning to the top tier of the championship after winning the second division last year. New Zealand's support play was outstanding as their runners constantly made inroads on the fragile Japan defence, the outside backs had a field day with big centre Balin Sullivan a huge metre eater. He scored the solo try of the day, taking a kick off in the 21st minute and running most of the field for an outstanding try. Wings Leicester, Fying Anuku and Jamie Spowett benefited, with five tries between them. Read more, asterisk Nanu not on the Canes radar yet asterisk Mogger back for Hurricanes clash asterisk Crusaders building a new dynasty asterisk Nanu leaves Toulon, most future, we will be very happy with that, New Zealand captain Tom Christie's said after the win. We will review it but on the whole I'm really happy, Christie felt Japan had given his side a challenge at the breakdown that would be good moving forward, but he was still thrilled with the drive and skills of his own players. Japan really challenged us. Maybe the score doesn't reflect that but they competed really hard at the breakdown and their mall was hard to stop. We'll go back to the drawing board and have a look at the details and what we want to work on and really focus on us, he said. New Zealand scored the opening try inside the first minute, with Big Lock Will Tucker benefiting from playing wide off second phase and dotting down in the corner. set the tone with the Kiwis romping to a 38-0 halftime lead with another five tries. Importantly, New Zealand held their shape and structure as the game loosened up. There were a few sloppy passes and too many handling errors, but this was a decent performance to find their groove as bigger examinations await. Add feedback fullback Philimoni Koroi showed the skills that have elevated him to the New Zealand Sevens team as his elusive running caused all sorts of problems for Japan. The combination of halfback Xavier Rowe and first five Caleb Trask used their options well to keep the New Zealand attack flowing off regular balls from a hard-working pack. New Zealand play Wales in their next Pool A match on Monday morning, NZT, and then Australia the following Friday. Wales caused an upset on the opening day when they beat Australia 26-21. In other results, Italy squeaked past Scotland 27-26, South Africa battled past Georgia 33-27, England beat Argentina 39-18, and France held off Ireland 26-24. The Baby Blacks, who have won the world title six times, are a factory for New Zealand talent with 12 of last year's champion team involved in Super Rugby this season. New Zealand 67, Will Tucker, Lester, Fying Anu, Gu Tu, Balin Sullivan, Villamoni Koroi, Xavier Rowe, Tom Christie, John Okaulalala, Jamie Spowett 3 tries, Caleb Trask 5 con, Harry Plummer con, Japan 0. HT, 38-0, stuff.